as much as I hate the man, what he's turned this country, the Republican Party, and people in my life into, I cannot condone what happened Saturday evening. I'm not quite ready for the series finale of the USA yet. I just can't get over all these conservatives talking about how just last week all the left were just nothing but snowflakes and were losing 10 minutes in the Civil War. Now talking about how the left are just so violent. And let me say, I do not give a book who the shooter is or what party he was in. Because if you go back and look at my voting history, I vote in the Republican primary. It's just flabbergasting to me how the right does nothing but vilify the left, calling them pedos and groomers, and they hate America, and they need to get the f*** out of their country, and this is a battle between good and evil, and the left are the definitely the evil ones. And then they had the all motherfucking dacity to say that the left are spewing hateful rhetoric. They show commercials of them blowing things up or talking about somebody on the left budget and then they shoot it with a gun or hunting rhinos or they say every single Democrat or rhino is guilty of treason. And you know what the penalty for treason is? You got Mark Robinson talking about some people just need killing. And then they have the all motherfucking audacity to say the left are the ones who are spewing hateful rhetoric. It's almost like if you build your house out of matchsticks, eventually it's going to burn down. When there's a school shooting, they say we need to get over it. When there's a mass shooting, they're worried that they're going to lose something. When people lost their life, when something happens to somebody on the left, they make fun of it. Like Paul Pelosi, they said he had a secret gay lover and they just made, even Trump made fun of it. And the irony of this is that I looked on X and people were pointing that out and they were MAGA in the comments doing exactly that. If irony were currency, MAGA will make Jeff Bezos look poor. Alabama Lieutenant Governor Will Ainsworth posted this. You can pause to read, but I'm just going to read this one part. But the radical left in this country have declared a jihadist-style attack on traditional Christian values. They've orchestrated an assault on the American family through abortion on demand, grooming children, and mutilating them through transgender surgeries, normalizing drag queens, placing pornography in children's sections of the libraries, villainizing law enforcement officers, and disrespecting our military. But that's not hateful rhetoric. That's just words, and you shouldn't let words get to you. I'm looking around like jihadists. I'm, I'm Southern Baptist. And plot twist, a prominent member of the Alabama Republican Party who he and his wife both worked for Will Ainsworth was arrested last year for child SA. But the part that really motherfucking gets me is the ones who say that it was divine intervention, that God was protecting Trump. The fuck are you talking about? God protected Trump, but he didn't protect the kids in Uvalde or any of the other mass shootings. God protected Trump, but he didn't protect the person at the rally who did die. You know what? I do believe that it was some kind of intervention, but I don't think it was higher. I think it was... Satan just wasn't ready for him yet.